Everybody said, oh, look at that. And we turned around and this thing was coming from the northwest, traveling to the southeast. I think this was technologically far advanced. The light came around this blind side of the object. Never saw the back of it. It couldn't move from the air it was in. And inside the light were these, um, the light diminished in brightness. It was a foot off the ground. But the house that you've seen, it was just on top of the roof. It was hovering on top of the, the roof. The material that we picked up weighed anything. It looked like it, it was weightless. You couldn't feel that you had anything in your hands. Witnesses watched in awe and terror as the unidentified objects defied explanation. Even years later, these bizarre encounters with UFOs are burned into the memories of those who saw them. In this video, we uncover some of the most chilling and unexplained UFO sightings ever recorded. From pilots reporting mysterious lights in the sky, to the viral clips being captured by people on the street, these are real accounts from real people who can't forget what they saw. What are these mysterious objects in the sky? Do we share this world with visitors not of this earth? Or is there some hidden scientific explanation yet to be unlocked? Decide for yourself as we show you the shocking videos on these baffling close encounters that still haunt those who witnessed them. Pilots stunned by mysterious lights. Recently, an airline crew flying into Yellowknife, Canada reported seeing mysterious lights in the sky near the airport on January 29th. This sighting left both the flight crew and air traffic controllers confused about what the lights could be. The incident involved a Canadian North flight traveling from Fort McMurray, Alberta to Yellowknife. The event was documented in an aviation reporting system this comes after other recent incidents of unidentified flying objects being spotted in North American airspace. Earlier in January, the US military shot down a suspected Chinese spy balloon. Since then, three more unknown airborne objects have been taken down over Alaska, Yukon, and Lake Huron. The origin of those three objects has not been publicly identified yet. According to the report, the Canadian North passenger plane spotted two lights 10 nautical miles northwest of the field while approaching Yellowknife's airport. An audio recording captures the conversation between the flight crew and ground control operators discussing the sighting. We will provide more updates on this intriguing event as additional details emerge. Just listen to this. Arctic 5071, Yellowknife Radio, good evening. Negative. I have no reported traffic in the area. Do you have a visual or something? Yeah, you know, we're looking at two lights dancing around here. That uh, to the east of your field, they're above us. Uh, well, I don't know what we're not seeing them on T gas, but we see the lights moving around them. I don't have anything on the radar either. Let me uh, talk to center. Triangular object. In the year 1997. Numerous observers reported a remarkable sight in the skies above Phoenix, Arizona. A colossal, triangular entity silently gliding through the air, adorned with an array of glowing lights. Although backed by a plethora of eyewitness testimonies and photographic proof, the Phoenix Lights incident continues to shroud itself in mystery, captivating the minds of many. Theories abound with some asserting that the colossal object looked like military origins, while others insisted that it may have been a genuine extraterrestrial spacecraft. What's that glowing object? In the forest of Rendlesham, England, during the year of 1980, a peculiar incident unfolded near the joint military stronghold of RAF Bentwaters and RAF Woodbridge. Startling reports from military personnel 
recounted a rendezvous with an otherworldly luminosity nestled in the forest. Witnesses described the object as a metallic entity exuding an intense brilliance. Curiously, cryptic symbols adorned its surface, leaving the observers perplexed. What followed was a cascade of mysterious events, as those who encountered the mysterious entity reported a spectrum of both physical and psychological anomalies. Despite a thorough investigation conducted by the military, the Rendlesham Forest incident remains cloaked in uncertainty, its secrets veiled in the shadows of the unexplained. Let's take a look at the audio. Found a small blast, what looks like a blasted or scrubbed up area here. We got very positive readings. Okay, why don't we do this? Why don't we make a sweep? Let me turn off this tree over here now. Okay, stop, stop. Light on. Hey, this is eerie. This is strange. Eerie, tell me why I look at the spots in the ground. I don't know, 48, we're hearing very strange sounds out of the farmers burning our animals. Gulf Breeze 6. In the enigmatic tale of the Gulf Breeze 6, a chilling series of UFO sightings unfolded in the late 1980s, casting a mysterious veil over Gulf Breeze, Florida. Six locals reported eerie encounters with peculiar flying objects, including an enormous triangular-shaped craft. Whispers abound, suggesting these sightings could be authentic brushes with extraterrestrial visitors, while skeptics contend they might be clever hoaxes or mere misunderstandings of conventional aircraft. Despite earnest official probes, the elusive truth remains shrouded in uncertainty, leaving us to ponder the enigma that lingers in the night sky. The mysterious object over school. In the year 1966, Melbourne, Australia became the stage for the famous Westall UFO incident. A giant saucer-shaped object hanging mysteriously low in the sky over a school located in the suburb of Westall. An eerie silence enveloped its presence, accompanied by an illuminating light that captivated the locals. Reports surfaced of this unidentified craft briefly touching down in a nearby field, only to swiftly ascend into the unknown once more. The witnesses, a group of students and teachers from the school, collectively attested to this baffling event. Fast forward to the present, and the very location has been constructed into a playground steeped in the intrigue of unidentified flying objects, forever preserving the memory of the Westall UFO incident. Mysterious object over BBC building. Before I show you the next video, if you are not subscribed yet, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications to watch more videos like this one. A recent video has surfaced claiming to capture an unusual sight, a large unidentified object described as a mothership, along with its accompanying fleet maneuvering in the sky above a BBC building in West London. In the footage, the camera operator rushes to the intersection of Bolsover Street and Clipstone Street, where two other individuals are already observing the sky, one of them recording with a mobile phone. The camera tilts upward revealing three swiftly moving white dots in a triangular formation above the BBC's Yalting House, followed closely by two similarly sized dots. As the camera returns to street level, two people on the opposite side of the road are also seen observing the mysterious events. Subsequently, a larger, bright, and slower moving disc-shaped white object makes a brief appearance, circling before darting away. The videographer was baffled, asking for an explanation of these lights. Watch these videos and tell me whether these white glowing orbs represent a genuine mystery, or if they might be a deliberate hoax orchestrated by individuals or a production company seeking attention.
Vertical parallel lights in the sky. The small town of Stephenville, Texas, situated 100 miles southwest of Dallas, is typically recognized for its dairy farms. However, on the evening of January 8, 2008, the townsfolk witnessed an extraordinary sight in the sky. Reports flooded in of white lights illuminating above Highway 67, initially forming a single horizontal arc and then transforming into vertical parallel lines. According to local pilot Steve Allen, these strobe lights stretched approximately a mile long and half a mile wide, hurtling through the air at a staggering speed of 3,000 miles per hour. Strangely, no accompanying sounds were reported. Bystanders couldn't help but draw comparisons to the famous Phoenix Lights incident of 1997. Despite the US Air Force's later disclosure that F-16s were conducting flights in the Brownwood military operating areas, just southwest of Stephenville, skepticism lingered among the townspeople. Many found it hard to believe that the explanation given could account for the observed phenomenon considering it appeared to surpass the technological capabilities of the time. The Encounter The coin helicopter incident is one of the famous UFO sighting that happened in Ohio back in 1973. People who saw it say a U.S. Army Reserve helicopter was flying over Mansfield, Ohio, when it came across a weird, two-shaped thing just hanging in the air. The thing was huge, more than 100 feet long, and had a bunch of lights on it. The helicopter crew said their instruments started acting funny because of this thing, and it was moving around in a way that didn't make sense according to the rules of physics. The flying saucer in the airport. On November 7, 2006, as Flight 446 prepared to depart from Chicago's O'Hare International Airport to North Carolina, an observant United Airlines staff member on the tarmac noticed an unusual dark gray metallic object floating above gate C-17. This saucer-shaped craft caught the attention of 12 United employees and a few external witnesses around 4.15 p.m. that day. Witnesses reported that the mysterious object hovered in the sky for approximately five minutes before rapidly ascending, puncturing a hole in the clouds and revealing the blue sky above. The incident quickly gained widespread attention, becoming the most read story on the Chicago Tribune's website and attracting international media coverage. Despite the numerous eyewitness accounts, the Federal Aviation Administration dismissed the incident, attributing it to a weather phenomenon and choosing not to conduct an investigation due to the absence of radar confirmation of the unidentified flying object. Now, there are many more incidents happening around the world, so make sure you take a look at these videos as well. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to watch more videos like this one in the future.